Hi guys, in the last video I showed you how to make a composite image from coloured squares on a transparent background in code. In this one I want to show you how to combine various shapes, I'll call them stencils. Ok, let's get started. We'll start with creating our image object. We'll go variable img equals, take the image class and create a new instance of an image. So we get our image object, and then we need to run the create method on it. We'll create from the basic dimensions, 1 to 8 by 1 to 8. We don't need mipmaps, so we'll say false, and choose our image format. As before, we're going to go with the RGB and alpha and 8 bits, and before I to make the transparent image I filled it with a transparent color but there's no need because the default is a transparent image so we go directly to save this save it as a PNG file and let's call it bg.png and we should be good to go and run it and we check there's no bugs debugger no bugs and look for what we've got, we got bg.png, double click that and check in the inspector we can see that we have a transparent image of 128 pixels square. Let's open the documentation for the image class to see what's available to us. If we right click on image there we go look up symbol and it adds the documentation to our project. So we could set the pixels and go around every pixel of our shape filling it in. To me that seems like a really slow process and also the problem at the edges is there'll be no anti-aliasing so there'll be a hard edge. So I don't think there's anything terribly useful for us there. What I think is best is to import an image such as a circle, so you want to use a circle, just draw a simple white circle in your paint package, save as a PNG file with a transparent background, add that to a sprite and then extract the texture from the sprite. I've added a circle there which is just a anti-alias white circle on a transparent background, 32 pixels square. Let's uh, duplicate our circle to give us nine of them using control D and then we can rearrange we can arrange these in our space of 128 pixel background area uh, to help us with that we can add guidelines drag them in from the ruler bars and this will define the top left hand corner the stencils here put some in the corners to start with that's four of them and then let's overlap some of them. Okay, that's our stencils arranged and uh, within this transparent background area. Going back to the code. Right, let's loop over our sprites. So we'll go for sp in get children. Let's cast our value of sp2 an actual sprite so we can get the autocomplete in the editor working so we go sprite equals sp now let's extract the data from the sprites texture so we're going to go var it's a circle so how about just using the variable c for it equals sprite and then the texture of the sprite and then get the data from that texture. That gives us the image data. As per the last video I'm going to change the hue of each of these circles so we're gonna have a hue value starting with 0. The hue step value will be equal to 1 which is the maximum value of it. It ranges between 0 and 1. We'll divide that by the uh, number of children, the number of sprites. Alright, so back to the, our loop, we've got the 
the circle itself, the data of the circle, set to variable C. And for our mask, which we will be using, we're going to make a copy of the circle. So to do that, we just go C dot duplicate. And we're going to change the circle to a square filled with our hue color. So we're going to go C dot fill and uh, make a color from HSV. And starting with our hue value, the saturation 0.5, for example, to make it a pastel color and the value. 0 0.0 and alpha for blending because some of them are overlapping make it 0.5 so what we have now is a, a circle which has become a, a colored square and the mask is the white circle so we're going to mask off our colored square with the circle to give us a colored circle so let's use blend direct mask function of the image class. We're going to blend in a colored square, which is C, and then we want to apply our circular mask to it. Now we want to specify the, the area of our image that we're blending in, that we're going to use. We're actually going to use the full area of it. So we input a rect to and we start from the top left uh, corner of the image. So we input a vector two, and it's we can put zero for the value of it for the top left corner, and then the size of our image is needed. So we go get size, and the next is the position within the background, which we can take from the position of our sprite in the scene. So we're going to just sp.position. So now we should be blending this image into the background and then we got to go around the loop again to add the other images in. So we're going to go hue plus equal to hue step to change the color for the next one around our loop. On the exit of the of the loop we finished we got our new image so we can go image dot save save our modified image to a composite composite image png and let's run it and see if it worked and we have a division by zero error problem is the scene has not yet got the sprites ready and that should be okay so let's run it again and let's check our composite image and there we go it has worked into the scene and we can drag it in and there we are it's worked okay that's it for this video i'll hope to see you again shortly in the next video bye bye